Hello, everybody. We're here working in my Dina Wakely Media Journal, and I happen to have the backside of one of the um, pages in the journal that's made out of cotton um, watercolor paper. And I'm using my left hand, my non-dominant hand, and a plain big ballpoint pen to roughly sketch out the shape and style of a face uh, over the collaged background. I'm using my left hand because I have less control. On purpose I'm doing that. And I get a looser, more sketchy feel to the face, which is what I want. So I'm just sketching out. Um, a f I have no plan. <laughs> um, I'm just doing what is c basically coming out of the pen. She ends up with some sort of a hat on and dreadlocks sort of hair. Not exactly sure. You can interpret it what way you choose to. As usual, my girls usually have large eyes, larger lips. Um, that seems to be the kind of girl I draw more, more often than not. So Now I'm just using my dominant hand to darken up the lines, not only so that you can see them better, but that so she can show up better on the page. There's a little piece of paper sticking up, so I'm using a glue stick to stick it back down. I'm not looking to completely cover up the background, but I'm looking to the background to accent the face that we're drawing on here. I want to keep it loose and sketchy and suggestive. I don't want to be pristine and perfect about it. That's not who I am. I am taking a Univol Signo gel pen in black and I'm darkening up certain things about the image that I know I want to have darker lines. Initially when I'm doing this, I'm doing it like I do my daily evening sketches and I'm thinking I'm going to keep it that way and I'm going to add a little bit of the Bible gel high gliders and then leave it at that. That's not exactly what happens. So I take some clear gesso after I've got all that pen on there and I'm sure it's dry and I give the whole thing a coat of clear gesso because I know whatever I do to it next that I've got a lot of different textures and things going on and I want it to really stick well. So some of the thing glue that I use to stick the collage background on would maybe make it so that the paint or gel high glider or whatever I use to put on there would not stick well. So you saw me there heat setting the pen because I really wanted it to be dry. I didn't want it to smear too much. It may still a little bit, but I didn't want it to do too much. And I gave it a good coat of clear gesso and then I let it sit until that was completely dry. And before I came back and did anything else. So now we're back and I decided to take these watercolor paints that I mixed um, by mixing all of my different watercolors together, all my yellows, all my reds, all my oranges, to make this custom color of paint, uh, paints I should say, here in my, um, in this palette, in this watercolor palette. And I'm using it um, to, and the colors in it to help me start to highlight and shade the face. So. We're using the warmer colors to indicate lightness, brightness, and warmth. We're going to use the cooler colors for shadow. Um, I rarely, if ever, paint faces with natural skin tones. That's just not me. And I think that it's more fun and challenging to do it this way. Again, I'm being loose and sloppy with the paint. That's on purpose. And I'm putting the red and yellow where I think the sun is coming from on the face and I'm using the purple and some of the graphite colors to help me with the shadow. So that little block I'm rubbing my wet brush on is a art graph block of water soluble graphite. And I don't remember what color that was but it's a dark brownish black. I'll try to put the color of it in the description below if I can figure it out. And I just keep adding colors. The orange is also a warm color. And keep doing it and I'm alternating with putting paint on and blotting some off, pushing it around with water until I get it to where I'm happy.
So now I've grabbed my box of Neocolor 2 crayons, which you can't see, it's slightly off camera. I'm using the white one to lighten up a few things like the uh, sclera or the white part of the eye and to add a few highlights, like really white, bright highlights. This isn't at all where I thought I would be going with this face, by the way. <laughs> um, I had no intention when I started of using any of the Neo Color 2s on there, but the more I worked with it, the more it seemed like it was meant to be. And I start off with the white one, but I end up adding some blues and other colors. The Neo Color 2 crayons, for those that don't know, are water soluble crayons, uh, waxy water soluble crayons. So any waxy water soluble crayons you have in your stash of stuff will work. And you can see as we add color and shadow to the face, it does really start to pop out from the background. I have something about, there's something for me about giving uh, my girls turquoise colored eyes. I have no idea what that is about. But you'll see me sort of pushing and pulling at the paint, adding light, adding dark, taking some away, adding it back on. And that's just, that's my no, part of my normal process. It's not about being perfect because I don't do perfection, but it's about creating something interesting and continuing to add and subtract my mediums and my paint and my marks until I find something that I'm really happy with. And if you hear a funny noise in the audio here, it's because I have a cough drop in my mouth. <laughs> so I really like that. She's a little bit glary because she's wet, but I'm really liking that. So I'm just sort of fine tuning the marks. I'm not really wanting to change it a whole lot right now. It will eventually get to the point where you have to just let it dry. And there's nothing that says, like I'm doing now, that you can't add the Neo Color 2s and then add some more paint, water, the watercolor paint on top of it. Why not? Why can't you? It's your art journal. You should be making your art your way. Don't listen to anybody else. So add it, take it away, add it, take it away. The little white thing that I'm using to blot some of the paint up is a little piece of a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. It works really well to lift watercolor paint, just FYI. So at this point, I'm pretty sure she's just about ready to just let her sit and let her dry. I really love the way she looks on the page. It wasn't at all what I intended when I got started, but it is uh, beautiful nonetheless. So now I found a quote in my stash of quotes that I'm going to add onto her, and I am just trimming it a bit and then gluing it on. And I shouldn't say quote because I think it's just a, sing yeah, a single word, and it says inspiration. I love that. I have lots of words and quotes cut out of magazines that I use in my journal. And I hope this gave you some ideas of what you can do. And I hope that you have fun with it and enjoy the process. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And above all, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Play in your journals. Have some fun and share if you'd like to. You can do that over in my Facebook group. The link's in the description. I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.